Hi there, Taurus, and happy birthday to all you uh, late April Taurians out there. Uh, welcome to the April of 2018 Tarot Scope. We're going to use the uh, Rock and Roll Tarot deck, and then we're going to pull a card from the Beast, Mistress, Animal Oracle cards. Uh, I want to make a quick announcement while I'm shuffling about I'm, oh, I'm uh, offering a new reading temporarily available, at least till the first week in April. It's based on the Equinox, but it's based on the season, the upcoming season. Um, I run your chart, and then I put the Equinox chart around the outside, and I did it for myself. I've been doing it for myself, gosh, for many, many years, and I just totally forgot about it. I'm like, well, why aren't I doing those charts anymore? And I did it for myself, and then I'm like, I should be offering this as a reading. So I, I am going to be offering it as a reading. Um, and you can get it, uh, purchase it on my website under the readings tab for a uh, short amount of time. Even though it's an astrology reading, it still is a psychic reading. It's just I'm using astrology as a tool instead of the cards. And then at the end, I do pull a card from the um, an animal totem card for you as well. It covers the month of April, May, and June, and what you can expect for the upcoming season based on tuning in psychically and uh, astrology. So do check it out. Another thing, this is your solar return, so powerful every year. Your solar return is the most powerful time of the year. Forget about January 1st. That is not really the new year. The new year, uh, well, the equinox is the new year in astrology, but your personal chart is always going to be your birthday, your solar return. And it, 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 if you do have a birthday, it's always a good time to order that um, year ahead reading that I offer. It's a little, it's this astrology report. Now, that's not me doing a video for you. This is an astrology report, but it's like 60 pages long. Covers the entire year, every single day, what's going on with your aspects and interpretation. It's really thorough and really good. It's only $22, so you can check that out too if you're interested. But, anyways, here is your cards for April of 2018 for our Tauruses. First card that flew out was the Five of Pentacles in, or Five of Rods in reverse. It says that there's a time of uh, struggle and conflict that's coming to an end. There was struggle, now it's turned around, it's come to an end. And you know, this is a soulmate card, and totally can be talking about a soulmate in, in some level. But to me, doesn't it seem like they're making up when you when you go like this, like we were fighting, but now we're, we made up. You know, now we're, we're now we're cool. Now we're copacetic. Everything is cool. Everything's cool. I'm hearing Monster Mash. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go ahead and just see if there's any relevant lyrics of Monster Mash. I'm not going to read them all off. I'm wondering if I'm getting Monster Mash. Was this something that happened back at Halloween time? Because, of course, I hear Monster Mash, I think of Halloween right away, right? Uh, let's look up Monster Mash lyrics. Where he says that uh, everything's cool. He was working in his light and he did the monster mash. Doesn't he say somewhere now everything's cool and the 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 uh, the scene was a rockin' and digging the sounds. Igor unchanged back by his bang hounds, the coffin bangers <laughs> were about to arrive with their vocal group, the Crip Kicker Five. <laughs> Here it is. I want to just read this. You can read the whole thing if you're inclined. But Now, everything's cool, Drax a part of the band, and my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, the mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them Boris sent you. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, I don't know. Yeah, maybe that has something to do with, uh, but part of the band, too. So maybe it's, if you're, it's band drama. Oh, that, you know. Taurus, as many of you are, very musical, too. I never realized this was a part, you know. This whole song is about uh, a, a band of uh, ghouls and stuff, which I really never even realized. But uh, Jack's back part of the band. So if you're in a band, you know, band drama, like, you know, we know that happens. And maybe you guys are going to make up. It could be something like that. It could be a lot of different things. Maybe you go out to hear a band or some live music or a concert and you meet, run into an old friend and you're back, you know, thick as thieves you are. Uh, but it looks to me more like an agreement is being made. And you might have been fighting over money, too. 
like uh, if there if there is some kind of argument or fight going on over money, even a court case in some direction, uh, in some cases, in all seriousness, it can be settled and to your benefit. By the way, Ten of Pentacles uprights is a nice piece of money here. Uh, it's not a little. It's not a small thing. You know, it's it's a large sum of money. You know, so you may make up, go back into business with this person. A deal can be struck. That that's very strong. A deal can be struck. Um, Oh, it's your birthday, but I'm going to put a deal could be struck, because I think that's, uh, that was very strong. A deal could be struck. Um, this is you down here. Let's jump down here for a minute, because this is you. This is the earth sign person, whether you're male or female. Um, you are leaving some stuff behind and going towards something new. And what are you going towards new over here? The King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles um, could be a male or female. It's not gender specific in these readings, uh, but the Pentacle people are Earth. I mean, your Earth sign, but the Pentacle people are fire signs, which are Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Could also be talking about the time of fire, which we are in the time of fire uh, for almost the entire month until the 19th. We move from fire to Earth, from Aries to Taurus. So um, it could be around that time of that transition, too, because this is a, a card of transition or changes, you know. So let me just scoot this down a tiny, oops, just a tiny bit down so we can see it better. Um, you know, this could be a time of transition of that when we transit from the fire to the earth. Besides, if this is you for sure, but it also could represent another earth sign person as well. The other earth signs, of course, would be Capricorns and Virgos. So it could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. You uh, have some knowledge or some skills. I feel like you have more knowledge or skills than this other... I think that could have been what the fighting is about. Like, um, you know, I, I contributed more to this than you did. Or this was my idea in the first place, and you're just cash. You know, I think that 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 seems to be a, an undertone or something going on here. And uh, I feel like many of you are fighting over money, and there's just been a stalemate. And I think it's going to be finally. And that's what these two cards are talking about too. This one for sure. You know, like no, I'm not budging. No, you're not budging. And um, well, how are we going to divide up the money? So maybe some of you. Um, are, are waiting to get divorced. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but that could be the case here. Like you're divorcing a soulmate, but then you're moving on to, it'll set you free, and then you're moving on to a, a next relationship. Whatever this is, you need to be free of it so that you can move on to the new thing. Because this is something very positive and very favorable. And very profitable, too. There's a lot of money going on here. This isn't some small little thing. You borrowed 20 bucks off me 10 years ago and you never paid me back. It's not... This isn't 20 bucks. This is um, much more than that. It could be property, too. Sometimes this stuff is property. Sometimes this is stuff that comes through the family, too. If it were divorce or something, it could be like, man, that was my grandmother's ring. you got to give it back. It's got to stay in the family. Because this just looked like a ring to me for a minute there. So it could be a lot of different things like that. Um, a family heirloom that you're trying to get back. Or um, somebody, is, we're going to share it, I'm seeing. Like if you're fighting with another sibling or a cousin or something, it's like, well, your grandma's clock could stay at my house for six months of a year, and then when I see you in the summer, I'll give it to you, and you take it home. For, I think that's <laughs> you get it for half the like shared custody over some kind of a possession. <laughs> I think that could be happening um, in some cases. Okay, let's go ahead and get over here and get your animal totem for our Taurus friends. Don't forget to check out my website if you're interested in that Equinox reading. And for you guys, too, that year ahead astrology report, great time to order it, because this is going to be your year ahead coming up. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get our animal totem. Go to my website, you can find everything. The goat. Well, you know, first thing I thought of, I saw this, and you might be dealing with a Capricorn. But it could, it's still you, even if the, it's you, and it, but it also could be the, another person as well. There's earth sign people energy going on. But Capricorn, the sea goat, is also an earth sign, so it could be. Um, could be something that started back in Capricorn time, all the way back in the end of 2017, uh, late December, early January 2018. Let's read this, though, what I wrote. Uh, independent, ambitious, rugged, curious, unfaltering perseverance and determination climbing to new heights, top of the heap, 
Overcoming obstacles, success after hard work. Yeah, success after hard work. And I think these are negotiations. I feel for many of you, this is some negotiations. I think you probably did do most of the work or did the, the you know. Um, this could also be like if you're collaborating in some way. You know, I did most of the work. I brought the idea to the table. I'm not going to give you credit for it. You know, I, I deserve to have more. Um, these two cards both seem like it, it, an even distribution is the way to go. You'll still end up with some nice money. Um, even if you did do more of the work, that's not really getting you anywhere. Insisting that you did more of the work. Okay. Well, then you can just stay in a state of argument and, you know, uh, in stalemate, not getting anywhere. Or you really want to move on. You really want to go to the next thing. You really want to go towards this fire person who has a lot to offer and is something really favorable and positive to you, then make make a deal. Make a compromise. Make a deal. Okay? Okay, so this is your reading. Thank you guys so much for... Check out the Equinox reading of the year ahead. I have books and decks and uh, t-shirts and all sorts of stuff for sale on my website by purchasing my wares and that is what keeps these monthly readings free on YouTube every month. I appreciate everything you do from liking, sharing, commenting to donating. No amount is too small. Uh, remember you are love and beauty incarnate. Have a happy birthday all you air, uh, all you Aries Tauruses, all you April Tauruses. <laughs> and uh, remember you are love and beauty incarnate. I'll speak to you soon.